on this journey to standing dancer's pose, first I'm gonna do the Sphinx, second one will be bow pose, uh, which is a heart opener, a back bend, and a balance. So uh, this pose, Dhanurasana, bow pose, will begin on the belly. So you begin on the belly, <coughs> reaching back for the pinky side of the foot. So I'm grabbing for the tops of the feet. Mm -hmm. And then relaxing the chin back down onto the floor, holding onto the feet. If this is not happening for you, you can't grab onto the feet, no problem. Just take a strap here and hold onto the strap. Um, for, but for now, we'll just hold onto the feet, relaxing the chin down. And what I want you to think about is relaxing the glutes. So if we start to grip with the glutes, then the hips will, will tighten up as well. And we have to have open hips, right? So you're relaxing the glutes, grabbing onto the feet, relaxing here as you inhale, that's when you're going to lift with the pose. So think about your inhale like, like filling a balloon with helium. And that's what's going to rise you up with your inhale. And with your exhale, you're going to kick into the feet and lift your gaze. Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Soften the jaw. Soften the gaze, point the toes directly up towards the sky and kick back as you pull with the hands. You want to find equal energy to, to release, bend the knees, bring the chin back down towards the floor, swim the hands forward, rest the forehead down. And what's really nice is to find a windshield wiper with the, with the legs. You're just windshield wiping the legs from side to side. And then once you release them down, put your big toes to touch and your heels will splay open. You can bring both hands to your side and release an ear down to the floor and just rest until the second set. So that is Dhanurasana bow pose. That's one version. I'll do one more variation just so you can, you can see the difference. So one, the thighs were lifting away from the floor. This one, the thighs will stay on the floor and you just think about kicking the shins directly back. You'll feel like it's a different, it's a different energy altogether, but still a good one to do. So this one, I'm gonna grab onto my ankle, more towards my ankle. Now think about keeping my thigh bones pressed down. You can rest your chin down. Inhale, lift the heart up, shoulder blades merge. Heart reach forward. And all I'm gonna think about is kicking my shins directly back. as a strong flex in my feet. Heart lifts and exhale. And exhale. And you lower down and release.